What is up, guys? It is the Citrus Pen here today, and I'm coming at you with a review for episode one of Sword Art Online 2, or Sword Art Online Season 2, however you want to say it. And in general, my overall opinion on this episode was I'm excited to see more. I can't really judge it by the first episode because if you judged the first season of SAO by its first couple of episodes, you would say anime of the year 10 out of 10, but then you get farther in it, and it wasn't as good as it was in the beginning, but it did start off on a strong suit, it had lots of exposition, it kind of explained some things, it had some action, it basically set up the entire Gungale arc, and I'm assuming that Gungale is going to be a, an entire uh, 25 episode anime on just Gungale, because I know that right now there are like 12 light novels or something like that, probably more, but... Right now, I think it's just going to be Gungale Online. I don't think it's going to be like Ancrad and Alfheim that were, you know, split in one season. I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not, but we'll see. Let's all face it. Even if you really liked the first season of SAO, then you, you know that it wasn't the best. Like, I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed watching it. I marathoned that quick, quick, quick. Like, I just did it really quickly. I marathoned it. It's hard to get me to marathon an anime. I sometimes marathon them, depending on how good they are, and I marathon that one just because it really interested me, and I, I, I play a lot of MMOs and stuff, so it kind of it kind of draw me in. It drew me in. It drawed me in, guys. Let's use some great grammar here. It wasn't the best, and a lot of the things kind of went downhill, especially in the second part of the first season. The first season, I mean, the first part was pretty good. The second part wasn't as good. And hopefully, this is going to be a good season. I have good hopes for it. And uh, let's start with the animation for it. The animation was, it was, it's like Sword Art Online. It's, it's good. It's got a lot of stuff backing it up. It's a good studio that does good animation. And even though there wasn't like any action barely at all yet, you can tell it's going to be good. It's Sword Art Online. It had great animation to begin with. And to be honest, they're not going to slack off on that at all. Uh, if anything, it might be, get better. I mean, the bullet the bullet physics things they were doing with uh, how Kirito was thinking in his mind, how the bullet was going through the plug. That was kind of cool. I like how they do the, the CG, the 3D bullet effect. But anyway, it's pretty cool that he's going back into a game, and this time it's for a different reason. Like, it's not just because he wants to go save somebody. It's not because he wants to just go play a game and he gets stuck there. It's more about he wants to figure out what this death gun guy is and basically the idea behind gun gale so far i don't know if this is the entire thing i don't read the light novels i've read the first light novel didn't get any farther than that might read them later but uh his name is death gun and if he shoots somebody in game they die so he shot zex zex seed or something some of that it's like exceed but with a z so that's creative right there but uh, he shoots them, like, on the TV. He, I think uh, Death Gun is in Gun Gale Online, and the guy, and the other guy, Zexeed, is on the TV on some weird MMO stream thing. He shot the TV, and the guy died from a heart attack. So basically, this guy's got a gun that if you shoot him in the game, they die in real life. So it's kind of like the same thing, but they don't die from brain damage, they die from a heart attack, which is different. It's like a death note. It's, yeah, you die from a heart attack. So, Death Gun, Death Note, it's basically the same thing. Uh, we got Light Yagami, so we might just refer to Death Gun as Light Yagami at this point on, but anyway, I mean, he's not, he's, he is talking about justice and power, so maybe he is Light Yagami, like this second Light Yagami, anybody? Anyway, uh, that's pretty much what happened in this episode, though. Uh, he killed two of the high-ranking players, one called, like, something like, that was like three parts to this guy's name, I don't know what his name is, but, um, he killed that guy, too, so he's killed two high-ranking players, uh, the one dude from the uh, from Sword Art Online, like the actual like Sword Art Online game, uh, what, had a meeting with Kirito about like, yo, you need to go in there and you need to like find out what's going on because they might start restricting what uh, virtual reality can do, and it's kind of like one of those things where like the bad people ruin it for everybody. You know what I mean? Like, if this goes on, they're gonna have to restrict more and more and more with virtual reality. Is what I think he's trying to go by. It's kind of like in real life, like. If somebody, like, I don't know, I, I really can't think of an example, but somebody does something that you weren't supposed to do and then ruins it for everybody, like, you're in the library and the teacher's like, yo, you gotta be quiet, or else you all gonna get detention, and the one kid talks, and then you all get detention. It's kind of like that, except it's virtual reality and it's with people dying. But basically that's what happened in this episode. I would give it, like, I don't know, I'm not gonna give a rating out of 10, but I'm gonna do it anyway. 
It's like an 8 or 9 out of 10. I'm hyped. I want to see more. Um, so I'm going to do these reviews every Saturday now. Hopefully. The last time I did this was with Log Horizon. And that didn't go well because I like didn't complete my reviews. But anyway. Uh... I hope, speaking of Log Horizon, the way that they're doing combat in this, I think, could be really fun. I mean, they're doing squadrons with these little squads, like, maybe not huge guilds, but squads of, like, six people. And I feel like maybe this is going to be more tactical, it's going to be more team-based. Log Horizon was great with that, it did a lot of team-based things for an MMO. Whereas in the first season of SAO, it was pretty much just Kirito with a sword, being like, I'm going to kill you all! But that's pretty much all that happened, he didn't really work with anybody, I mean, he worked with some people sometimes, but he pretty much did it all himself. Hopefully this time, maybe there's a little bit more tactics, there are more team-based gameplay, stuff like that. And that's all I have to say on this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this little review, and I'll see you guys next week.